While national policy can affect us here in South Carolina, we are fortunate that leaders in our state are ramping up support for the life sciences sector. My name is Matt Gavart, and I'm the CEO of Kyatech based in Greenville. Kyatech is a cancer diagnostics company providing oncology clinical testing and preclinical services to pharmaceutical and biotechnology companies. We've recently announced an expansion of our workforce as well as a new location in the newly formed Greenville Innovation District at Main Street Labs. Our move to secure capacity for, to bring our testing to thousands and then 10,000s of cancer patients is a business decision that positions us to win and increases our competitive advantage. One of the South Carolina officials who supports life sciences is Secretary of Commerce Harry Lightsey, and it is my great pleasure to introduce him to you today. Secretary Lightsey was appointed by Governor Henry McMaster to serve in June of 2021. A fixture in South Carolina's business community for decades, he served in top executive leadership roles for major corporations in South Carolina and across the nation. Notably, he served as the president of Bell South Telecommunications for the state prior to the company's merger with AT&T. Following his 26 years in the telecommunications industry, Secretary Lightsey joined General Motors Corporation, where he directed the legacy automaker's federal government affairs operation, as well as its emergency, emerging technologies, OnStar, and infotainment divisions. Again, it is my great pleasure to introduce to you Secretary of Commerce, Harry Lightsey. Secretary. Well, thank you. Good afternoon to you guys, the uh, few and the, the hearty that you've made it this far into a long, long day. So. Uh, certainly uh, greatly appreciate uh, y'all's participation. Uh, I have been um, here for uh, most of the day and listening and really uh, enjoying hearing uh, many of the, the points that are being made. Um, for those of you who, who knew my predecessor, uh, Bobby Hitt, uh, he was uh, more a little bit more talkative than perhaps I will, so I will I'll, I'll definitely endeavor to, uh, to move the program along here. Uh, one of the first conversations I had with uh, Bobby was, uh, he said, you know, Harry, I think we're gonna get along great because uh, you're a good listener and I'm a good talker. And uh, so anyway, I, I've, I've enjoyed uh, listening for most of the day and I've learned a, a great deal. So uh, really, I'm here just to, to, to aside from my own personal uh, learning experience, just to, to let you know how much uh, the state of South Carolina appreciates uh, what you are all doing in the life sciences uh, industry in South Carolina. Uh, earlier today, uh, we saw the numbers and the numbers really speak for themselves. And, um, and, and so at this point, I don't think I have to justify to anybody here in this room why South Carolina should be actively working to grow the life sciences industry in this state. Uh, and that is certainly uh, a priority for us going forward. Uh, we'll be looking at uh, all of our incentives um, during the first part of this year. and We hope uh, we'll be able to, to make some uh, policy recommendations uh, to policymakers uh, for, for the future. Uh, but one of those I think we're particularly looking at, and, and if you're familiar with our incentive structure that we've been using for decades, uh, to attract industry to South Carolina. It's really geared toward uh, large, large industries with large capex, creating large numbers of jobs. Um, and I think we can be competitive in, in areas beyond that. We want to look at what other states are doing in areas like the life sciences. Uh, we want to look at, we want to think about what we can do to be more creative and really to get out in front of this incredible amount of change that's going to occur uh, in this area. I have two nieces, um, one of uh, whom is, is currently getting her bioengineering degree at the uh, PhD at the University of Florida. I have another niece who's uh, working in uh, Cambridge, England uh, with uh, CRISPR and with uh, uh, stem cells. And 
to understand from both of them uh, the really that we're on uh, just the very beginning of what promises to be, I think, the most dramatic change in healthcare and in uh, the ability to use uh, bio uh, technology uh, to make all of our lives better. And I think uh, South Carolina is, is very well positioned to be uh, a critical part of that as we go forward into the future. So uh, you, what you do is, is, is so greatly appreciated. We, we had the uh, earlier announcement today uh, from Diversified Medical Healthcare, uh, $58 million, uh, $50 million, 185 uh, jobs in Greenville. Um, the story of, uh, a, of a, a company that is headquartered in South Carolina. And so many of, of the companies that belong to SC Bio are really uh, from South Carolina. And I think that's a great part of the, the story as well. So we'll be thinking about and looking for ways uh, that we can help you grow and thrive and succeed. And uh, we look forward to your input. I'm, I'm really here to request uh, that all of you, if you have suggestions for us on things that we can do uh, to help our state and to help you and your businesses, uh, please, please get in touch with us. We would really look forward to, to working with you uh, on any suggestions uh, that you might have. Uh, just in briefly, in conclusion, I just want to say that um, I've noticed that the, uh, the music uh, that we're walking up to is um, a little bit mellower this a in the afternoon than it was maybe in the morning, and uh, that's probably a good thing. Uh, I also will note that my Deputy Secretary, Ashley Teasdale, uh, has done nothing but laugh all day when she got the concept that they were going to play walk-up music for me because she knows that I have basically no rhythm whatsoever. So uh, thankfully I see that the band is gone so I won't have to walk off to, to music. Uh, but I'll just conclude with that and uh, thank you again for, for having us here. And I look forward to working with all of y'all in the future uh, to grow life sciences in South Carolina, to keep us on this incredible trajectory that we're on and to make it even accelerated. I'm, I'm all about getting us uh, number two, but it really I would love to, to, to end up be, to be number one in, in the region. And uh, I would look forward to working with all of y'all to do that. Take care. <laughs>